Hello, welcome back to another vlog. We wouldn't normally do a vlog after a vlog. We had like a weekly vlog last week, and then today I'm giving you a day of my favorites, but the whole prego announcement messed up the timing. So it's fine, we're, we're vlogging again. <laughs> Come and see what I get up to for the day whilst I talk you through my favorite things from the month of April. I wanted to say May so bad, but these are my favorite things from April. I've got so much to share with you. There are so many things here. I feel like there's been some things I've been like storing away that I maybe couldn't share before I shared the news. Um, so this is like a bumper edition for you. And also before we start, quick disclaimer. Obviously what I do online here is a lot of like recommending products, recommending clothes, food, all that kind of thing. If you are a fellow pregnant lady, I highly, highly recommend you do your own research into things. I'm not a pregnancy oracle. I keep getting so many requests for pregnancy safe skincare routines, recommendations, a blog post. I will not be doing that because I am not a healthcare professional. I highly recommend that everyone does their own research and looks into it themselves. I personally am taking advice from the NHS website and my midwife and I'm happy with that, but I'm not. A professional so I just want to put that out there um, I'm obviously not using retinol I wasn't using retinol in my routine anyway so actually there hasn't been that many things that I've changed skincare wise maybe like body care wise I've changed things up a bit you've obviously got to be careful what you put around your bits <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to put that out there because everyone is a little bit different when it comes to this different countries have different rules all that kind of stuff so I'm going by the NHS my midwives and that is what I feel comfortable with. But please do your own research. I am not, I'm not the pregnancy oracle. I just want to put that out there. When it comes to the best stretchy trousers on the market though, then we can talk. One thing that I have wanted to mention for the longest time is my current body care combination. I'm still using the Biosance 100% squalane oil also i know we'd normally be in the bathroom for this but our neighbors are having some work done on their bathroom on the other side so i thought we'd come in here this stuff is fab i've used this now for probably about a year i would say about a year i've gone through so many bottles maybe even longer it's really really nice and kind to my skin it's great um for my psoriasis which actually thanks to the old pregnancy hormones is really decreasing it's a thing it comes back after you've had the baby so i'm not getting too excited but i use this on my limbs and it's just really nice absorbs in beautifully i've done the spiel with this so many times um, but yeah this is still currently what i'm using and then on my boobs and my belly, I'm using the Suzanne Kaufman, the Stretch Mark Oil. This is my second bottle of it. I'm down to here already. It smells, oh, so relaxing. I use it every single morning after my shower and I use a load of it. <laughs> I really slather it on. I have stretch marks by the bucket load on my boobs. It's like a genetic thing, like using something like this isn't gonna stop it. I do feel like it calms those stretch marks down a little bit. It doesn't make them as like red and purple. And so far, so good with the belly. Although every morning I wake up and I'm like, I feel like I'm being stretched. <laughs> Give me my oil. But this just feels really nice and luxurious. I've also gone through bio oil and I've also used the Summer Fridays belly balm as well. But I'd say that this is my favorite out of those three things. I kind of love this just like sitting down talking to camera about products. I feel like I never do this anymore. I really, really, really want to do a makeup video soon because this is old school YouTube and I love it. You would have seen so many people mention this. It's from Loewe. Oh my word, how do you say this? Agua? It's their new fragrance and it is beautiful. Like I've seen so many people mention it and being like, this is my scent of the summer and I get it. You know me with scents. I love fresh and kind of fruity, citrusy, figgy scents. This actually reminds me a lot of CK1, which was the first ever fancy fragrance that I ever treated myself to. My mum used to wear it, so I always used to like nick it out of her wardrobe and then I bought one for myself. It is mm, so fresh, so non headachey and it reminds me of You've been on holiday, like a hot weather holiday, and you've had your shower and you've like showered off all of your sun cream and you come out the shower and you just 
smell fresh and you feel so good. It's, it's this in a bottle. It is so, so nice. It's definitely gonna be my scent of the summer. I've like pushed everything else I'm using to the side to start using this. And yeah, I can see why everyone is raving about it. SPF wise, I've been taking it up to the next level because I've been sitting out in the garden a lot and I've got like my nose is basically <laughs> just all freckles and that's from where I've been sat in the garden with like massive sunglasses on and my nose has just been out. So I've been taking my sun protection very seriously, obviously still loving the Kiehl's. Um, also discovered the Rihanna Fenty Hydra Visor SPF 30, I think that's what it's called, a delight. But again, you would have seen a lot of people mention this. It's from La Roche-Posay and it is their Hylou B5 Aquagel SPF 30. Pure hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, antioxidants. Well, I'm pretty sure the amount of sun cream you should use for your face in the morning for like your first initial application is a quarter of a teaspoon, I think. I'm gonna double check that. It is a quarter of a teaspoon. With this, I feel like you can actually apply that full amount and not feel it on your face barely at all. I feel like it leaves my skin like glowy, juicy. It doesn't like pill at all whenever you apply product over the top, but it comes out like that and then just rubs into the skin and leaves such a nice glossy, glowy finish. There is no white cast to it at all. It's completely clear smells just really fresh um and yeah i've been like getting the full amount on the face and it's just beautiful um i think it's new but i have seen it online i was surprised by the price actually for la roche posay i would always put it more in kind of the 15 ish pound mark i think it was more around the 25 pound mark for 50 mils it looks tiny doesn't it it looks like a 30 mil but it is 50 mil and it just feels heavenly and i feel like i could reapply it i can actually apply the full amount to get the protection that i need on my face i love it oh a final thing for the bathroom the lovely guys at space nk sent me these from slip uh these are the silk scrunchies and i just love the color of these like the color palette i am fully into and they're just really nice i have some green ones that i use all the time but i personally prefer the color of these and they're just really lovely i love hair elastics but i feel like my hair gets caught in them and then they go really loose and like the metal bit always ends up being exposed um these are just really lovely and nice to use and good for your hair i mean i'm not doing anything fancy with my hair <laughs> i'm just putting it back like in a low bun Ta -da! but yeah they're really great i just wanted to give a notable mention to these okay on to makeup i actually made myself a little everyday makeup pouch this month. I'm not sure why, I was just really in the mood. And as I do my makeup for the day, I wanna share with you like the faves. I have a renewed love for the MAC Face and Body Foundation. This is the old formula I have to stress. I haven't treated myself to the new formula yet, but I was looking, <laughs> I was looking back at photos of my skin last summer. Around this time last year, my skin was looking really, really, really good. So I searched through my blog posts to find what I was using through my videos to find what I was using. And I was using face and body. So I've gone back to it. It is just so, so lush. It just blends in so quickly. And I feel like it really evens everything out, but just looks like skin. Oh, I'm, I'm so, so excited. I'm so close to using this up. There's barely any of this left in here and I'm gonna treat myself to the new one and I will report back. Oh, I wanted to give a bit of a shout out to the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops, the blurring skin tint in the shade five. These are really nice. It's very different. I feel like if you enjoy something like the MAC Face and Body, but maybe it's a little bit too dewy and like, it's not wet because it does kind of create a film on your face and then like doesn't move around. It's not like a super transfery foundation, but maybe if you want something that's a little bit more matte, I would 100% recommend this from Fenty Beauty. I think they have 25 shades, which is half of their normal shade lineup. I think they normally have 50 shades, but because this is sheer, they argue that it kind of covers the same spectrum. It's just really unusual. I personally love it applied with fingers, um, not so crazy about it with a brush. I feel like the brush sort of sucks all the product up, but with fingers, it really does 
blur and smooth. It has a little bit more coverage than something like a MAC face and body. I almost want to say it's like the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, but a more matte sort of skin-like finish rather than that like wet dewy glow finish. Um, so yeah, I've really been enjoying using this and experimenting with it and I will show you in a different video because you want to see it on. I'm still trying to use up my RMS Beauty on cover up concealer and I've just been buffing that in with a brush kind of under my eyes and around my nose. One thing that's a favorite that I really wanted to mention is from Dior and this is their Forever Skin Correct in the shade 2N. Um, I know I mentioned this in a vlog, if I can remember what one it is, I'll link it up in the corner for you. And I said, I think this was more of a summer skin moment for me. I mean, it's hardly summery today, but the weather is definitely warming up and my skin isn't as dry as it was. And I think because I use things like the RMS Beauty Uncover Up and I use Glossier Stretch, when I use a proper concealer that actually has coverage, I'm like, wow, <laughs> it has coverage. This has quite a decent amount of coverage, I'd say. It comes out on a doe foot and I've just been using it on the breakouts that I've had around my chin. I mean, the Allies of Skin Promise Keeper Blemish Sleeping Facial is incredible and I've continued to use it. It's, it's so good. Who knows what my skin would be like if I wasn't using that currently. But Baby Boy has just been doing some, um, some interesting things. <laughs> To my skin and I've definitely found I've been breaking out more than usual. I think that does a really good job of sort of dimming down any redness but also isn't cakey on the skin so I'm really really enjoying that. I'm just trying to use up this Marc Jacobs bronzer. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I ever will. Will I ever reach pan in this? Hmm. I don't know. That's it for the face. I then just take the Refi brow sculpt very lightly through the brows and then use a toothbrush. <laughs> to brush them through. I finally got to see my brow lady Claire and it was an amazing moment, an amazing moment. And then soon I'm seeing my hair lady Claire and then I'm gonna feel like a brand new person. I can't wait. I was nervous about this because I finally got to the end of the Giorgio Armani eye tint. I think that's lasted me about two years, which is very impressive. The expiry date on it is six months. And I'm always nervous when I open up a new one and it's changed packaging. I'm like, oh, it's changed packaging. Has it been reformulated? I don't know how I feel about this. Um, but I'm pleased to report that the new packaging version of it is brilliant and just the same as the old one and as I remember. So I use this in the shade 23 and then I just blend that in with a brush, sort of smush with my fingers and call it a day. <laughs> I'm like, there you go. Eyeshadow, done. It's just as good as I remember. I think that's kind of it for makeup favorites that I wanted to share. Oh, I have got a jewelry favorite. I'll get to that in a minute. I'm trying to think what else we've been up to. I actually had quite a baby <laughs> focused week. Um, we've been fish chair shopping, which is actually quite fun. I used to work in mother care back in the day, RIP. I worked there for about four years. It was genuinely one of my favorite jobs <laughs> I've ever, ever had. After I worked in mother care, I then worked in a student bar. And as someone who hates people being sick, it, 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 wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't as fun. And I used to love learning about buggies when I worked at mother care. I was really into giving pushchair demonstrations. Fun fact, one time I gave a pushchair demonstration to Peter Andre and Katie Price. <laughs> that truly is my <laughs> claim to fame. Um, so I've always been really excited to go push chair shopping as someone who is actually pregnant because that was me like back when I was 16. And we've had a bad experience somewhere and we ended up going to quite a local place that a lot of people have recommended. And it just wasn't, it wasn't the warm and fuzzy like, first time parents going baby shopping experience that we thought it would be. They didn't have the buggies that we wanted to look at there. Um, so yeah, it just wasn't the same. I always loved having first time parent um, customers when I worked in mother care. It was my favorite thing. People would just come in and want to be taken around the whole shop. And I just loved that. It was like my favorite type of customer. And then they'd come back with the baby and you'd see the baby grow. Oh my God. It was amazing. I, I really, really, really did love that job. <laughs> 
And then we ended up going to a place in Surrey, um, which was called the Natural Baby Shower. And it was amazing. It was so good. Mark and I were literally there for three hours. <laughs> we were so hungry by the time we left because we went there at lunchtime. But yeah, it was amazing. And we bought a car, a car seat. Oh my God, it's all starting to feel very real. And I think we decided on a buggy as well. It was just very sweet. It was very, very sweet. And as we left, Mark said, what an enjoyable experience it was. It was very, very sweet. But today, no baby shopping. <laughs> Let's put an end to that. We actually need to uh, be productive. I have some work to do. Um, I'm gonna go do that. But before I do that, I'm gonna share with you today's outfit because you might recognize this shirt. Okay, please ignore the fact that I have socks <laughs> sandals on <laughs> it is a look um but it's a little bit chilly today so i've done the eva sandals with a pair of uh gray socks underneath but these are 100 percent my two favorites of the month now i'm going to talk through the shirt first and um, because this is i mean i've only had this for like a week i guess my true favorite top from the month would be the arquette pima cotton long sleeve t-shirts which you saw me wear a ton in my last vlog I've just washed them all. They've all just gone out of the wash. They are brilliant. This is also from Marquette. This is their oversized cotton poplin shirt, hence why it's a little bit creased because I've been sat down. And this is the beige stripe that I mentioned in the last vlog. And I just, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think I'm going to live in this. It's so comfortable. It's nice and long at the back. I now have it in this stripe, I have it in black, I have it in white. I mean, yeah, it's just brilliant. So many of you guys picked it up when I mentioned it in my last video, but I highly, highly recommend. I'm pretty sure I wear a size 38. I'll write what size I have it in the description box down below for you, but I'm pretty sure it is a 38. And then these funky leggings are from and other stories i think they're called the flared leggings i'm currently wearing them in a medium to obviously accommodate baby bump and they are good for now there is a lot of stretch in these and they're just a wide leg flared legging in a kind of ribbed texture it looks something a little bit like that i want to say this is maybe my third day in a row of wearing these and they're actually not too baggy at the knees. I feel like sometimes that can happen with this type of fabric that actually the knees get really baggy. Um, but I feel like these really aren't that bad. And yeah, I just, I love the combination of it all being very neutral, all being a little bit baggy. Obviously these are tighter on the top of the leg. I've got one of my Chantel vest stops like tucked in over the top. Um, so yeah, they're tighter at the top of the leg and then flared at the bottom of the leg. But really love these. They come in a black and a gray as well, but very happy with the cream for now. There was one thing I forgot to mention. These earrings they're from Majuri and I think they're called their small hoops I haven't taken these off they sent these to me but I did buy the curb necklace recently and I was so so impressed how quick the delivery was because I think it comes from Canada really really quick no duties like you kind of pay for all of that at checkout so no surprises when it gets to your front door and then they offered to send me these I was like yes please um, they're just a really comfortable everyday hoop, really thin, really dainty. Honestly, haven't taken them off. I sleep in them. They go all the way through. There's not like a um, butterfly at the back. They just connect into the hoop at the back. Um, so yeah, they're just really comfortable to wear. But if you've noticed me wearing them, this is what they are. I'll link them down below for you. And I'm just wearing it with my also extremely dainty um, Gemini chain that I picked up when I visited Chelsea in San Francisco in her shop anime store, which honestly feels like a lifetime ago now. <laughs> I've just been putting a description box together for a reel. So I like doing stuff like that because I can kind of like watch a video in the background. And I was just watching Alana's video. What one was this? New makeup from Lux PR. I was just watching it. She was using this uh, Violet um, eye, like liquid eyeshadow, and she was blending it in. And I was like, oh my word, that looks amazing. And then, <laughs> And she's blending it in, she says. Really pretty 
color. I feel like Anna of the Anna <laughs> would be absolutely obsessed with the shade. This is screaming Anna. She knows me so well. I was lit. She was reading my mind. She was reading my mind from across the pond, like Alana. You know me well. I was just thinking, cool. I need to go on the website and order that. That looks amazing. <laughs> it's just got chilly. Just have to put my massive jumper on. Um, Mark's just got back from doing a food shop at Waitrose and he said, what do you love? And I said, you, because I was trying to be nice. And he was like, aside from me. <laughs> and then I said, cheese straws. And he got us the Waitrose cheese straws, specifically from the Waitrose Hove branch, are next level. I love that he felt the need to buy four I knew there was a reason that I married this man. Um, they're so good. It's like a croissant mixed with their Cornish quartz cheese, which is my favorite. It is so, so tasty. So I'm gonna have one of those as a little mid-afternoon snack because it has already, got, it has at two o'clock. I would have recorded myself doing work on my laptop, but I was doing it from bed. <laughs> I got it done. <laughs> Actually, whilst I'm here, I'm going to share with you two cookbooks from the month that have been brilliant. The first one I've been going on and on and on about, and it is the One Pot Pan Planet by Anna Jones. This book is everything. <laughs> it's so comprehensive. Um, I love how it's broken down. So the recipe chapters are split into recipes that you can make in a pot, recipes that you make in a pan, um, quick recipes, and then also ones that you make on a tray. Personally, I love a roasty toasty flavor. So I feel like the ones in the tray section are like more to our taste and probably ones that we'll make more. I just love that when you get to chop everything stick it in an oven and like half an hour later it tastes incredible. So tonight we're gonna try the halloumi lemon and caramelized onion pie. We're gonna give this a go tonight, except I don't like halloumi. So we're gonna try it with feta instead. I feel like feta could still work. So you will see how that goes tonight. Um, but even in between that, it's got incredible chapters on sustainability and cooking. If you've got loads of wilted greens, you've got a lettuce left over, you've got potatoes left over, like it's got different <laughs> categories of things that you regularly have left over in your fridge, like a bag of salad always happens to me. And then loads of ideas of what to do with it. It's, it's just a really incredible read, let alone for the recipes. It's yeah, really, really, really clever book. And then I got sent this. This is Cook This Book from Molly Baz. I'm not sure this is out in the UK yet, but it's coming very soon. I wanna say in some point in May, cause I actually had this on pre-order and I had to cancel my pre-order. Um, when I put that this was gifted on my Instagram, people were freaking out cause they thought it meant that like Molly herself had sent me this book. No, her UK publishers, Little Brown <laughs> sent me this book. It's so fun. It's so, oh, it's it's beautifully photographed, really bright, lovely recipes. Every single recipe is photographed, which I love. The same with the Anna Jones one. In terms of how it's broken down, it's broken down into chicken, beef, pork and lamb, seafood, eggs. Yes, there's a whole chapter on eggs, nudes, <laughs> um, grains and legumes, salading, so many veggies to kind of like side dishes soup, snacks, and also baking at the end as well. I will admit when I first started reading through it, I mean, we don't cook chicken all that often, beef, pork, and lamb. Yeah, sometimes seafood, I'm not crazy about seafood. Then we got to the egg chapter and I was like, all right, now, now I'm listening, this is amazing. And I'll say from the egg chapter, it's all good. Um, some really nice salads. We actually had the Orchietti with bacon, sugar, snap peas and ricotta last weekend and it was delicious. And then this week I'm gonna try the big beans and spicy greens gratin, which has butter beans in it. Um, she says it's a bit like a mac and cheese. Oh, I love both of these. I'm racing through my to-do list so much that I've made a start on tomorrow's to-do list, which feels great. And that was to write May's An Edited Life newsletter. I was so stumped <laughs> as to what to write. I really had 
no idea so ask for your ideas on instagram and thank you so much for your replies because i just all i needed was like a little scroll and it came to me one of you suggested um a newsletter on like the easing of lockdown and kind of how to plan and prepare for it and all of the like social pressures that come with it and that is something which i know i've been talking about like a lot in my real life with friends and i have a lot to say <laughs> on the matter and like, I love when this happens I just sit here and it comes out of me so easily I've almost written the whole like text bulk of the newsletter already um which is great so yes keep an eye out for that that will be coming into your inboxes if you're a subscriber uh, tomorrow morning at 6am GMT um if you're not you can subscribe the link is always in the description box down below for you um so yeah I'm excited to finish that off if there is one time that I'm very messy <laughs> is when I'm cooking. Um, so I'm finished for the day, I've wrapped up and now I'm making that recipe that I mentioned earlier. This is the filling with the feta in. This is the pie. It, it was a complete cheat, just a piece of them, um, you know, like ready-made short crust pastry. Love that. And then I've also caramelized some onions. So you're basically just placing all those things together I think you put a little bit of feta on top. I'm just eating this as a little snack. Yum. And I was watching The Glow Up. Episode one had Ate Jewel on it. Oh, she is amazing. So yeah, just finishing watching that. This is truly my happy place, especially when I get to eat whilst I bake. So this is the before and here's the after. I have to say, I'm not sure it looks particularly like the picture. I realized that I should have left my mint leaves bigger. I cut my mint leaves up too much and therefore you can't really see them or else I think there'll be a bit more greenery on top. Um, but I did use my extra mint leaves in my potatoes. We've got like kind of a lemony salad. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know what I think. What are you gonna say? I was gonna do the outro to this video and then Mark, because he wanted to join as well. Do you want to tell him what you saw at dinner? I saw a bird. Yeah. Uh, it was a wag <laughs> I think it's a wagtail. Which meant that Mark looked past me for the whole of dinner to try and see uh, this wagtail in the garden. Yeah. But you haven't seen one in the garden before. No, I haven't. I've seen them out no. and about, but not in, the, not in the garden. So that was cool. That's very cute. I also realized I haven't done my book favorites of the month. I read Pachinko. It was amazing. It was so good. I actually didn't start reading a new book for about a week afterwards. That's when you know that a book is good because mm. you're just like, well, it's not going to be as good as that. So it was yeah. amazing. I highly, highly recommend that book. And then I'm currently reading Early Morning Riser. I will link both of these books down below for you. My Goodreads is kept up to date as always if you want to see like real time stuff. And we obviously have the book club. I'd say so far that one's good, but I mean, Pachinko was just like, a whole different level. I think I I'd like that. it. I think I'd want to read it. I think you'd like it. Yeah. It was long though. Was no offence. I think it would. Start it now. <laughs> finish it at Christmas. <laughs> We're actually gonna go and maybe maybe just do a little bit of baby shopping. Just a little bit of baby shopping. We're obsessed. Once you pop, you We've can't. Now. You can't stop. Um, and yeah, we've realised there's a place that's near us. It's open late. Um, so we're going to head there now we've eaten our dinner. Oh, how was dinner? Did you like it? It was very, very nice, yeah. I liked it too. It was delicious. It was Everything good. about dinner was lovely. I really enjoyed Aww, it. Aww, that's nice. Thank you. I know you, I know you spent a while doing it. <laughs> it took me two hours, guys. <laughs> and now I just now have to sit down. Yeah, I'm absolutely pooped now. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this favourites vlog. I don't know. Oh, the next video is going to be an early pregnancy vlog. I'm super nervous to put it up. I have to say i find like talking about pregnancy online just all very strange and overwhelming and i'm still not really sure where i'm at with it all um but so many of you wanted to see it so it's going live next week i hope you enjoy that and i'll see you soon with a brand new video thanks for watching i'm just i'm just doing an awkward bye bye everyone bye, <laughs> bye.